in this video i'm going to show you how to design this mock-up in pixel lab right now we don't need this let me delete it from here i want to change the background color to white click on good from here i want to change the image size like 18 18 25.95 I click on good so right now I'm, I'm gonna import an image from gallery I choose this image I click good I bring it down I redo I resize it let me come over here relative position so that I'll make sure that it's at the center I click on good from here I'm gonna lock it so that it's not going to be moving around whenever I touch the screen so right now I'm gonna need an object from here I draw an object I choose circle from here I'm gonna need the color the color I'm gonna need is a, is a green color so that I, I, I need to, to pick color from this from this background okay this color is okay I click on good I click on good also I drag it down you need to drag it down let me click this so that I'll make sure it's at the center when you are done click on good you move to relative position you make sure that it's at the center you click on good you move to position right now you move it upward 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 yeah, I think it's okay like this. You click on good, you remove the grid. Now we need to lock it so that it's not going to move it around. Let me unlock this one. Okay, I think it's okay. Let me lock it again. From here, I'm gonna import another image. I need this image over here. I click on good. So let me resize it, let me resize it and then rotate it, resize it again and bring it over here. Let me resize it again and bring it over here. Let me resize it again and bring it over here. I think it's good like this. Okay, let me lock it. All right. The next thing I'm gonna do now, I need another, another. I need to import another image. I need to import another image, which is this image. I need to crop it. I click on good. I bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down bring it down I think it's okay like this I think it's okay like this let me lock the screen the next thing that I'm gonna do now I need to import another image let me import another image take this image now let me resize it let me resize it I think it's okay like this now let's lock the screen the next thing that we're gonna do now is that we need to add some test so this is the test that we're gonna add I double click on it we add some test let me change the font let me change the font Come over to front. I think this font is okay. Now uh, let me re re increase it. I increase it. From here, let me give it color. I choose black color. I click on good. I need to make it bold. I make it bold. I click on good also. 
Okay. So right now, let me go to relative position. So to make sure it's at the center, I click on include. Right now I need to duplicate it, I copy it, I bring it down. Come over here. click on good right now let me resize it let me zoom it from position let me shift it I think it's okay like this Let me move the T upward. I think it's okay like this. Right now, we need another object. I draw that object and bring it over here. Let me give it color, green color. Now I need to apply border radius. I need to apply border radius. I think it's okay like this. Okay. Right now I need to duplicate this test. Let me copy the test. I copy it, I bring it down over here. Let me edit it. I click on good. Let me zoom it. I need to change the font. Let me use this font. I think this one is okay. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, we are almost done. I think we are done already. Okay, let me resize this. Come to relative position, make sure it's at the center. Come to position, bring it up more a bit. Think we're almost done. Let me come over here. I need to unlock the screen. Let me bring it down. Let me bring the main shape down, which is the two. Which is the green one. Let me bring it down. I move to position and bring it down. Bring it down. Yeah. Then move it up a bit. And move to this position. Maybe then I want to extend this and bring it down. Okay. I think it's okay. Now let me come over to this one, let me bring it down, let me come over to this one, let me bring it down, let me come over to this one, let me come over to this one, let me bring it down, let me come over to this one, relative position, now move to position, let me bring it down. Let me zoom it so that I can set this one properly. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Perfect. We are almost we are almost done. So what we're gonna do now is that we need to export it. To export it, what we do is that we come over here, we click on save as image. Come over here, you change the format, you put it in PNG. You click on save to gallery. Now we are done. The next thing to do now is to apply the mock up. Now, to apply the mock up, 
what we're, what we're going to do is that we need to come over to this website photop.com the reason why i'm using a um, laptop is because of flexibility and also more control it gives more more control than the mobile device you can also make use of a mobile device it's just a website photop.com so we need to open the mock-up when you come over to file you click on open you assess the location of your mock-up so this is the location of my mock-up i save it with a title you click on open so now you need to exercise some patience so that it will open the mock-up successfully okay now it has fully opened what we're gonna do here is that we need to double click on this first layer so that it will open the next layer so now this layer has opened we need to hide it you have to click this eye so that you will hide this layer so since we have I hide it we need to import our image so to import our image here you click on file you click on open and the place so when you click on open and place it's going to open your file manager when it opens your file manager now you need to select your image the one that you save in png so this is my image i click on open now it's going to open your image since your image is opened what you will do is that you need to uh, expand it so that it will fill the whole workspace so you need to expand it so that it's going to fill the whole workspace so when you are done when you are done what you're gonna do next is that you come over to file you click on save a uh, smart object when you click save smart object it's going to save the work for you so it has saved the smart objects you need to come over to this to, uh, you need to come over to this section which is ATT.PSD. when you click it you are going to preview your work and see how it looks now have you seen it have you seen how perfect it is it's such a lovely design so the next thing that you're gonna do now is that you need to come over here and save your file so you need to save your file what you need what you will do is that you click export when you click export you select save as png you, you can save it as png you can save it as jpg so now i'm gonna save it as png when you click save as png so there is nothing more that you need to do over here rather than to click save when you click save it's going to save your work immediately so that's how to do it have you seen it guys this is how to add more cop in pizza lab if you find this video useful don't forget to click the subscription button see you soon have a great day